Hello and welcome back. This is Greg French. Uh, today we're going to be covering Computer Repair Chapter 1, Part 1, Hardware. Uh, learning Objectives. I'll learn the computer needs both the hardware and software to work. It can't do anything without the software. Hardware is the physical. Software are the programs that run the hardware. We're going to learn many different uh, hardware components inside and outside the computer. We're going to be using lots of acronyms. HW stands for hardware. SW stands for software. Hardware is the physical portion of the computer, the things we can see and touch. The software, it's instructions. Instructions are used to manipulate the hardware. All hardware operations are based on binary values. A binary system is what we call a base two system. It only has a zero and a one, or two characters, in which to express all the information it does. The binary num numbering system, we're going to be uh, going over it, doing conversions, both uh, from binary to decimal, the numbering system that we're familiar with, and from decimal back to binary. Bits and bytes. A bit is one character, either zero or one. A byte is a group of eight of these binary numbers. You can see the operator here. She is typing. She's typing actually her name, Lisa. It comes out of her keyboard as zeros and ones and enters into the computer case, processed by the CPU, and eventually the output again comes out as zeros and ones and then is translated uh, by, the, by the printer into her name and then printed out on a sheet. So the computer, and it's important to understand, only uses the binary numbering system, not the decimal numbering system, not the hexadecimal numbering system, not English, not any other language. Its language is zeros and ones are the binary numbering system. PC hardware components, input, output, I.O., external to the case. Uh, we'll go over some examples of things that are coming into the computer. Uh, your keyboard would be an input device. Your monitor would be an output device. Processing and storage, these are devices that are internal to the case. Hardware for input and output. Now ports uh, can be either cabled or wireless. Ports are usually on the back of the computer and we can identify a port by the type of plug that plugs into it. A typical monitor port uh, might be a, a VGA uh, plug or or jack and it's going to be 15 pins. Uh, you might have a USB port. You might have a keyboard or a mouse port. Chief input devices, keyboard and mouse. Chief output devices, monitor and printer. Here's an example of a couple of output devices we have on the left side here. A 15 pin VGA and on the right we have a printer port. That's a 25 pin. These would be plugged into the back of the computer. And again, we can determine the port on the back of the computer by the type of plug that plugs into it. Each one is unique. Hardware inside the case. Storage and processing occurs in the case. Internal devices, motherboard, CPU, memory, etc. Hard drive and CD drive are also internal. Power supply, internal. Expansion cards installed on the motherboard. These uh, are plugged into the motherboard and provide uh, additional functionality to the computer. A typical uh, video card might be plugged into the expansion card, giving us output to a monitor. Cables uh, can be either data for communication or it could be a power cable. Now here's a typical uh, inside view of a computer case. And we can see right here we've got a fan and it's on top of a CPU. Down below here we can see our expansion bus. This is where we plug in our expansion cards. See a lot of cables here. These cables are going from the motherboard uh, to maybe the hard drive, CD-ROM, other devices. Also we have power supply up here. The power supply has a lot of these power cables coming down. Review. Hardware needs software to work. We can't get the hardware to do anything without the software. Computer uses binary numbering system, zeros and ones. That's all it uses. All processing and storage is case internal. 
I.O. is case external through ports. So our input and output is through the external portion or ports of our case. Ports can be either cabled or wireless. Wireless is becoming very popular instead of using cables. Activities. Uh, we're going to do a binary numbering system activity. We're going to convert binary to decimal and then decimal back to binary. Here's a couple of examples. Uh, 1010, 1010. That would be 8 bits or 1 byte. Uh, looking at the values here, the first one here on the left has a value of 128. The second one would be 64. The next one, 32. Then 16, 8, and 2. If we add up the ones that are set with these values, we come up with 170. Now we can do just the opposite. We can take a number, such as 85, and convert it into binary. We well, wouldn't use the first one because it's 128 would be too much. The second one, though, we said was 64. We can set that second one, 64. Now we have uh, 21 still to go, so we set the 16, the 4, and the 1. We're going to do an activity and spend some more time on this. And there is an activity available, uh, the binary numbering system. Also, we're going to do lab 1.1 in our lab books. This is gathering and recording system information. Uh, I want you to answer and turn in, in that lab, just the review questions. There's a set of review questions at the end of the lab need you to fill it out on a separate sheet of paper and turn it in to me, and you'll be getting credit for that. Uh, this concludes uh, Chapter 1, Part 1. Next, we'll be looking at Chapter 1, Part 2. Thank you very much for listening. Bye.